betting uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Race number two will start off the place accumulator at 13.15. That's a Corobos 1. It's a Phillies and Mayors 90 handicap. There is some form to work around here over this 1,200 meter trip. At the time of recording, Warren, all seven runners go to post. And uh, they got Dolces up number one at seven to two, number two at four to one, number four at 22 to 10, five at three to one. And it's five to one and better the balance. You know, this horse Dolces up for Robin Clarsen. Uh, it just shows you know how you can get your rating at a very high mark if you run some fair races as a young horse uh, because at a 94 uh, the horse has come down to an 87 but I think we'll need to drop a few more points before we can start falling out confidence but that said they may have found the right race traveling her here to KZN because while she is taking on some horses with some respectable form to recommend and being only a one-time winner I think from draw one, she could make her presence felt. So I respect number one, Dolceza. Also number four, Morgan Le Fay, who uh, seems to be in excellent form. Acacia's Blossom will get a mention from me just on the fact that she loves racing over the course and distance. Three of her five wins have been at this track over 1,200 meters. But after that being said, I'm going to lead with a 12 to 1 shot here, uh, Warren. You know, I, I, when I took down the betting, I thought that I was mistaken. But the horse is trading at 12 to 1 at the time of recording. And with all due respect to the other jockeys, I think the engaging of Muzi Yeni is a big positive. We know Muzi is a clear second on the national jockey's log. And he will give this horse a very positive ride in the small field. 7 out of 7. I look to her inside, Acacia's Boston and Beringa. They don't have the pace and speed to match her up early. So I don't see an issue of Muzi jumping her out, taking her to the front. And uh, if there's nothing to come from behind, I can see her running all the way to the line. Of course, Invulazana is a front runner as well, and she'll have the run of the race from draw two. So I think between two and seven, we'll see which horse is in front. But if Bon Bush is in front and she brings her A game, 12 to 1, big value. Well, that's what it's all about, Dees, uh, looking for the value and, and the big value at that. So, Bon Bush, we'll go with you. We'll, we'll put her into absolutely everything. She's a, a daughter of Captain of All. As I said, we are working together, so we'll be able to have a good look at her in the paddock, etc. And maybe we can have a little nibble at those attractive odds. You've touched on Dolceza, Morgan Le Fay, uh, even a horse like Berengaria for Baron Burtis is making her polytrack debut but uh, would be able to have some claims, although she is making us wait for her next win. I don't think we need to sort of go too much more than that. Obviously, Acacia's Blossom uh, is, a, is, a, is a fairly classy individual. Um, she's two and a half kgs better off with Mvulazana on their last uh, meeting. Uh, but just quickly going back to Dolceza, I think if she takes to the poly, mm. which is a big question mark, uh, from gate one with 55 and a half, you look at uh, who she's run with there, Secret Identity, Batula, uh, Bavarian Beauty, Mrs. Browning, Runaway Bomb. She's really taken on some, some serious horses. And uh, Dolceza and uh, Bon Bush could be the uh, boxed exact to play. But uh, that's the second race. Dees is going for the value. Bon Bush. And we'll be shouting home as much as we can for the uh, 12 to 1 value about Bon Bouche. Hi, it's Donovan Everett here from Cape Racing. And uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pool Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.